Hey friends, I came home for lunch so I thought that I would film some content for you before 10 p.m. for the first time this week. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what I'm making for lunch. Okay, so this is my bowl of, there's brown rice and shredded chicken and some frozen broccoli. I'm gonna heat this in the microwave long enough to cook the broccoli from frozen and that'll bring it down a little bit so that it actually fits in this bowl. It's half a cup of rice, a little over a cup of broccoli because it is gonna cook down, and um, three quarters of a cup of shredded chicken. Now I'm gonna put some of this tahini lemon dill dressing that I made on top of my mixed up bowl. I really like this dressing to just give it some extra flavor and break up that kind of same old, same old chicken, broccoli, rice combo. I was talking to my friends in my wellness collective today about how I have really been not struggling with sober October, but about how it hasn't felt as easy to me as other times that I've tried for a sober month. And one of my friends suggested making an evening cocktail with pre-workout so that like not only is it like relaxing and gives you a chance to have a ritual that helps you unwind, but also it's gonna give you some, that kind of extra kick in the pants to get things done when you're home at night. And so Eric and I are planning on having a big clean night tonight. So I made myself an energized cocktail and I'm gonna give it a shot. For dinner, I'm having this taco bowl. I haven't mixed it up yet, but it's just like lettuce, cheese, um, ground turkey, uh, plain Greek yogurt and salsa. So nothing crazy special. So I'm not sure if you can see like the tear stains coming down my cheeks, but I am overtired and I just read a bunch of like, I don't know, it was like a collection of memes or Tumblr posts or whatever that was all about people who tried to say one thing and then also tried to say another thing and ended up saying something really awesome, like gruel if you're a Freaky Friday fan. You know, or no, it's not Freaky Friday. I was like, it's Lindsay Lohan, it's Mean Girls. You are a Mean Girls fan, there's just like no other option. So it's like a gruel, but like with a full statement. And man, some of them just like had me dying. One of them was someone who tried to tell a customer <laughs> to hold on for a second and give me a minute and instead ended up saying, hold me for a second, which, you know, great start to a Monday. So yeah, I was, dying laughing we did a bunch of cleaning tonight we went to canadian tire and ended up getting a bunch of fresh cleaning supplies just because we were running a little bit low and i wanted to move to some more natural based cleaners um ones that are like safe for kids and animals and that type of thing not that we're really planning on having kids but we would like to get a dog at some point so i thought i'd just get used to us having these like non-toxic cleaners in the house. So I really like the brand Method. So we got a bunch of stuff from them. Um, we got all-purpose cleaner. Wood cleaner, which we actually use on our hardwood too, um, if there's like a specific spot because we have hardwood all throughout our condo. So this is good for that. We have this antibacterial one specifically for the kitchen to make sure that just everything is staying safe and good. Um, yeah, this is like specifically antibacterial, but it, it's just another all-purpose cleaner, the same as the purple one. And then the last thing that we got was this bathroom cleaner because the bathroom cleaner that we're using right now has a really, really strong bleach smell to it. I think it like it's like Clorox with bleach or, or something and it makes it so that the bathroom stinks for like days after we do a deep clean. So I'm hoping that this doesn't and that it's just like in general safer. And I'm a packaging girl, so method packaging, I'm into it, it's nice. Yeah, so that is basically our night. I hope you, I don't know, there wasn't a whole lot. I showed you what I ate today and I showed you all the cleaning supplies that I bought. Like I'm officially an old married person, but what can you do? Maybe you liked it, maybe you didn't. 
maybe there'll be something more interesting tomorrow. Tomorrow's Halloween. I have no idea. Like, I should have planned to wear something funky. I do have t-shirts, so I'll probably wear a t-shirt with a skirt or something that's like Halloween themed and put a blazer on top of it just to have something. I don't know, we'll see. And then tomorrow night, um, I don't think that we'll get any trick-or-treaters here. Maybe we will. I'll probably just end up sitting at home and eating the candy by myself. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm already overtired and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.